So today, we're going to look at um, an encoding scheme to, um, to produce um, uh, to produce an entropy uh, entropy approaching compression. So, um, firstly, we need a couple of properties. We touched on this last time, but what we need of a uh, what we need of a, a of a compression scheme is uh, most importantly it needs to be uniquely decodable. So we had the following suggestion last time. We said, um, okay, here's A, B, C, D. And here's the probabilities, one half, one quarter, one eighth, one eighth. Um, I suggested and we showed that the following was, a, uh, was an entropy achieving code. Um, one, zero, one. Actually, I had, you know, I started with zero. One zero, one one zero, one one one. So the idea seems to be, uh, let's replace uh, more probable letters with shorter descriptions, and that that makes a lot of sense. So if something happens really often, you want to give a short description. In fact, we do this ourselves. Um, if you're writing a document and there's a complicated term that occurs all the time you'll probably want to shorten it to an acronym. Um, there was a suggestion last time, okay, well, the, I mean, these are the two most common letters, so why don't we do this? Something like that. The problem is this code is not uniquely decodable. see that, let's say I had the following string. So this string could be decoded as, that's an A, that's an A, that's an A, that's a B. I could also decode this as, that's a C, and that's a D, or A, A, B, or C, A, B, and so on. Now you could argue, well, what if you do this? Um, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, one. Then it is uniquely decodable, yes. So uh, here I have A, here I have an A, and here I have D. What's the problem with this scheme? Yes? You still need some representation of the comma. So, um, I mean, that's this is not a binary scheme anymore. Uh, because I need a special character to act as the comma. And it turns out that, uh, if, in general, if you have a special character that's only allocated to the comma, that tends to be inefficient. So, for instance, if I was allowed to send a third character, I might actually use that character to send information. So, in fact, the comma would encode something. Um, the particular property that we're looking for is the following. So. Um, this code is uniquely decodable. Another nice property that it has is that um, is that I can read off letters as they occur. So, for instance, let's say I have um, one one zero one zero zero one one one. So, what I can do here is I can say um, Okay, one, one, there's no, there's two covers that begin as one, one, and then zero, so that has to be a C. So as soon as this code word, as soon as the C appears, I can, I can say that that's a C. Then one, zero, the only code word that begins as one, zero is B, so that has to be a B. Then zero, the only code word that begins as zero, A. And then, one, 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 the only code word that begins one, one, one is D. Now on the other hand, what if I took all of these code words and turned them backwards? So in other words, I have the following code.
Now, this is still uniquely decodable. But let's again have uh, the example 0, 1, 1. Um, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, now, as I read along, I have this. Well, that could, that could be a B. So I could draw my line here and then continue decoding. Um, but what I realize is that there's no code that begins 1, 0. So therefore, this can't possibly be a code word. So therefore, I have to move this along to C and so on. So in other words, I can't immediately tell where my code word boundaries are. So this code is is uniquely decodable, but it's a pain because I can't I can't instantaneously decode the code words as they appear. Um, this is not instantaneously decodable. Okay, can anyone see what? So this is a nice code. And these two are both bad for different reasons. This one is obviously bad because it's not uniquely decodable. This one is uniquely decodable, so that's good. I, can, I could actually, in principle, construct a code like this. But what's different between these two that makes this one instantaneously decodable and that one not? It might be a little hard to see, but does anybody see it? So here, can we say something? Yeah, basically it's the same reason why if you had uh, flipped all the bits 0 to 1, it would be also like uniquely decodable because, because the, uh, the sequence is uh, like basically unique sequence. You can get a unique sequence for... Right, so I mean I can get a, I can get a unique sequence, so it's, instant, it's, uh, it's uniquely decodable but not instantaneously decodable. Because uh, the first one you know when it ends when you find a zero. Yes. The second one you know. Uh, okay, so um, what's really going on here is um, here, so this is A. This is A. So um, parts of the leading parts of, of other code words are themselves code words. Whereas over here, this code word starts with zero. No other code word starts with zero. Similarly, this code starts one zero. No other code word starts one zero. Whereas over here, this code word starts zero one. No other, this code word also starts zero one. So if I see zero, um, in other words, if I see a complete word, I see a complete code word zero, over here, I don't know if that's a complete A or if it's part of a B or part of a C. Similarly, if I see 0, 1, I don't know if that's a complete B or part of a C. So, sir, if we had uh, flipped the bit on the left most side, it would be an equivalent code, right? Like for A, if we had used the 1 and B is uh, 0, 1, and C is yes. 0, 0, 1, it would be the same thing. That's right. So, yeah, here the identities of the letters don't matter. but. Uh, if you flip all the bits, then it, then it still has the same property that I'm, that I'm about to describe. Uh, so over here, if I see a complete A, none of the other code words start as start with the zero. If I see a complete B, one zero, none of the other code words start with one zero. So this code has what's called the prefix property. And the prefix property is this that no code word is a prefix for any other code word. 